Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Today's gonna be another day of me working on this amazing Mercedes W124. Stay tuned. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing today, but apparently there's still a bunch of stuff that we have uh, to do on this car because it's been neglected. So we have to give it all the love and make it immaculate again. So as you can see, this fender, I don't know what really happened here, but as you can see, it's kind of a little bit crunched up and there's uh, some sur surface rust. So I'm gonna just, I'm sanding it right now and then I will touch it up. So I wanna make sure that I get rid of all the rust and I'll use some rust dissolver as well on this area. And I'm gonna take care of that. Also, I'm gonna jack it up later and I'm gonna remove the front fender liners cause I wanna, you know, make sure that there's no leaves over there and I wanna clean everything out. All right, now we're gonna take off these fender liners. I want to check what's behind, clean it, and fluid film everything. And look at this! I just started removing the fender liner. Look, look what I what I saw. Look at so much junk here. It's crazy. Hello, previous mechanic. Looks like you forgot your glove. And fender liner is off and this is the reason why you have to pull it all right look at all this garbage here accumulated it's bad okay so good idea to clean all this out that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna clean all of this out and then I'm gonna put grease here and fluid film and reinstall everything back together and make sure this drain is good too and it is good I checked it on this side it's working okay it's really really important guys don't neglect this you can see beautiful brakes tie rods and ball joint right there and as you can see the low control arm bushings they're getting a little tired you know I've seen a lot worse this side is not as bad uh, but uh, they're gonna be good for a long long time still, you know, I'm gonna just leave it for the next Owner to take care of, you know, I just mainly wanted to replace the ball joints because they were really really bad They were original and I'm sure these bushings are also original because they have a uh, Mercedes star on them Yeah, so other than that, I'm not worried about them. They're gonna be okay I'll just replace these four sway bar bushings. I'm waiting on parts right now Fender liner is cleaned up and drying right now also sanding some of the surface rust on the fender okay yeah i really don't know how that happened i really don't care our uh, fender liner area right here is all drying up i'm about to start putting fluid film here also this part i still have to finish sanding it a little bit more almost done with this and then we'll be touching it up with paint i'm gonna start fluid filming everything i already started doing that mainly everything up there so this gets all protected. It will never ever rust out. It's very important, guys. Make sure you protect all this area. Of course, I got something. I got fluid film on my camera lens, so now my camera will never ever rust out. Now, for this area, I just want to add a thick coat of wheel bearing grease. So in case anything ever tries to rust out here, it will never ever have a chance. On the edges too. Everything has been fluid filmed, protected, and I'm ready to install the fender liner back. Okay, fender liner is back. All the screws are back, everything is amazing. Now I can take care of this uh, bare metal because it's all nice and rust free right now. So I can touch it up with paint. All right, so I was using this dark green paint from my Crocodile W140 and I touched everything up. So there was some bare metal right here. So I touched it up and same thing right here, this area. Okay, so this is all touched up right now and i'll let the next owner find you know the next owner can go ahead and find the right paint color for this thing so yeah right now my main goal was just to clean up the surface rust and touch it up with paint protect it and all that the same thing i'm doing right there okay that's all getting uh touched up okay and drying up right now 
always enjoying beautiful weather, amazing weather, no matter what. Like, I mean, sometimes it's windy, sometimes it's raining, but I still love Washington State. And super happy to work on these amazing machines and make them amazing again. So I took the fender liner from this side and it's also a bunch of garbage here. Hughes, huh. So this will be getting cleaned up. Oh yeah. All right, so take a look at all this, how much garbage there is here. It's crazy. It is really crazy. In the meantime, good opportunity to check this drain. Make sure it's good and not clogged up. Everything. Be cleaning all this and preserving. So on this side, I had to take out this tube because it's clogged. So I gotta take it out and clean it. See the water just sitting in there? There is a bunch of garbage in there. Got brand new sway bar bushings, high quality parts, amazing stuff. Okay, the old bushings on this side are out. They are original Mercedes Benz. Not too horrible of a condition just yet, but they were getting there. Okay, now I clean this sway bar on this side and I started putting silicone paste here where the contact area is. It's really important. You only use silicone paste for the rubber. All right guys, so everything is greased up with silicone paste and even the bracket and all that. Same with that guy. And let's go ahead and install these this side. All right, this side is done. Both swivel bushings are replaced. Good to go, and I'm gonna move on to the other side. And also another thing I noticed is these two transmission cooling lines, they're actually rubbing against each other, so that's really, really bad. So I have to fix that right there, you see? I'm gonna probably loosen this guy and just move this line a little bit out so it's not touching that other metal line. Stuff like this is people don't pay attention to, and it's it's really, really bad. All right, guys, and these two are replaced as well. Okay, everything tightened up, worked. Amazing stuff. Now I'm working on this area. There's a bit of a dent here, sadly. That's how I got the car. And uh, I just taped it up because I'm just sanding the surface rust, and I'm going to put rust dissolver, and I'm going to also touch it up later on slowly but surely making this amazing machine amazing again so i'm underneath right now and just inspecting a bunch of things and we've got a brand new starter over there actually so that's cool and then everything else is looking pretty good here oh uh, transmission side oh uh, i have to replace the bushings shifter bushings are gone both of them so those are gonna need to be replaced and i'm probably gonna do the trans fluid change as well change this fluid flex discs look amazing actually they were replaced at some point i can tell that So I'm starting the uh, detailing of the interior on this car. I'm gonna be taking the seats out and cleaning everything because everything is filthy.